Hello. Good morning. Welcome to our uh, morning inspiration. Thursday edition. Our Bible inspiration today will be taken from Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shall be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Another verse will come from Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, and it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Who, ah, yun po. Tapos, Proverbs, another verse. Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He will make straight your paths. Yan po ang ating mga Bible inspiration today. Katulad po nang nasasabi natin every morning, we wake up. We are totally confronted with a lot of uh, issues that we have to face on a single day. A lot of challenges and trials. Uh, sa trabaho pa lang natin, ang dami na nating uh, challenges dyan. Uh, marami pong political work issues na kinakaharap natin like doing everything that we can pero hindi po tayo napapansin ng ating managers or ng ating supervisors tapos with co-workers there are a lot of bullying nowadays uh, ang dami po sa work po natin and uh, when it comes to family there are also somehow yung mga philandering husband natin o marital issues or problems that is uh, driving out crazy in the early morning, lalo na kung hindi umuwi yung asawa natin o nagsing siya umuwi, ganyan. Uh, so, ang issues, di po ba? Tapos, not to forget our children. Meron po tayong uh, wayward children or, or uh, out of course children that it challenges us. Every day. So, mga to, mga katotohanan po ito and facts of life that every family suffers, that every family faces, and each and every one of us faces in the early morning when we wake up. Okay. So, uh, the best way to battle and to, to face all these problems and challenges of life is in kung ating Panginoon. Sabi po ng binasa natin sa Hosea, my people are being destroyed because of lack of knowledge. So, when we lack of knowledge of the Lord, sa tipa, uh, napakahirap po na, na kaharapin ang bawat araw. But with the knowledge of the Word of God, and with the knowledge of all His promises towards us, for us, from the very beginning, we could have wisdom and understanding sa pamamagitan ng mga salita na we can draw our strength na po na kaharapin ang mga dapat na kaharapin natin sa araw na ito. Without the Lord in our lives, it will be impossible po talaga. Hindi po kadalasan kaya lang ng sarili natin pag-unawa o ng kaalaman ang pagharap sa mga katotohanan ng ating buhay. We could call the challenges a dry season of our lives. Sabi po nang binasa din natin sa Proverbs, Trust in the Lord with all your hearts and do not lean on your understanding. And in all your ways, again, in all your ways, sabi po, acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. Yan po. So yun po ang sabi. So in every circumstances of life, there is a one rescuer 
that provides wisdom and knowledge on how to deal with all our challenges in life. There is always a way with the Lord. At sinabi din po, do not lean on our, on our own understanding, but let us be filled and covered with the Word of God and with His promises in our life. And in every trials, po, nakakaharapin natin, challenges natin sa buhay, there is a Word that of God that is fit to all our circumstances. So, gagawin niya daw pag straight ang path natin every day that we face a lot in the morning. Sabi niya po, fear the Lord is the beginning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all knowledge. Tunay nga po yung, yung minsan uh, ride up na po tayo and we seems to make uh, every way as possible as we can. Pero at the end of the day, nandiyan pa rin po yung challenge in our lives. Sabi po ng Panginoon, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. If we happen to to trust in the Lord, po, ang mga pamamaraan po ng Panginoon ay kakaiba. Po, uh, it gives wisdom and knowledge. It gives strength and hope. Minsan ang ating pong gusto instant remedy agad sa mga ganyan mga bagay. Pero somehow, the way of, of the Lord is different from our own ways. Minsan may mga problema na, na ipag-pray natin sa Panginoon, instantly na dyan dyan. Pero meron mga pagkakataon na, na we keep on praying, pero the answer is not yet given. That is, it takes some times na po nararanasan po natin ito na parang yan, nagpe-pray tayo sa Panginoon pero there seems to be no answer yet parang nasa dry season po tayo wherein we cannot hear or see the Lord in our lives yun po yung tinatawag na dry season na waiting time let us just believe that during this, that dry season and waiting time the Lord is doing something much more important than answering or giving you all the answers to our prayer. Doon po sa waiting time natin, po, uh, and we are in the presence of the Lord, the Lord is doing something. The Lord is developing our inner man. Po. Uh, the Lord is developing our patience, our resilience, our faith po, sa Kanya. He is more after doon sa building of our character, the building of our faith, the building of our relationship with Him. No po, na i-strengthen ng dry season ang ating uh, pananampalataya. In the dark places of our lives, we're in the answer on our Uh, trials is not coming or it's still too far or there's no result in our prayers. And in during those dry season, you know, uh, character is being built up by the Lord. In the dry season you know, uh, of, our, of our life, you know, we can contemplate more of our life in the dark places of our life or in the dark, dry season of our lives, we come and meet the Lord. The blessed, yung, nagiging yung pong dry season ng life natin becomes a blessing because ang ginagawa po ng Panginoon ay ini-strengthen niya po yung ating inner man, yung our character because the Lord is after our character. Not, not after of just giving us what we desire to have. The most important part of our of the process of God in uh, pursuing us to be closer to Him is to build our character. Kasi po yung loob natin, yung inner man natin, ang magre-report just in case sa harap ng Panginoon. Yun po yung 
yung makikita niya at harap sa kanya and yan po siya, yung inner man po natin. In the dry season natin sa buhay, parang nasa isang kwarto po tayo na naka, 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 nag-iintay doon. Pero yun po yung hindi pagsagot sa ating mga panalangin. In the dry season of our life, our spiritual muscles is being stretched. It's being developed by the Lord. In the dry season, we learn something. We learn something. We gain character. It might be too uncomfortable, but it allows us to grow spiritually. It allows our character to be in line with what the Lord wants us to be. In the, in the dry seasons of our lives, new ideas come up, new perspective, new understanding, new strength and character was being developed. In the dry season of our life, faith in, and, and trust in the Lord develop. So, yan po yun. So, uh, ang sabi po ng Panginoon, my people are being destroyed because of lack of God. But when we ask the Lord to be in the to be in the midst of our every uh, struggle on a daily basis of life. Lalapit po siya sa atin at tuturuan niya tayo. He will give us wisdom and knowledge on how to deal with every situation of our life. The Lord is not just only giving us the answer to our prayer, but He is more on developing our inner man. Yan po yung ginagawa yung strengthening of our faith, strengthening of our dependency upon the Lord, strengthening of our resilience, strengthening of our patience. Ito po yung mga inner aspect of our human being na gusto din ng Lord na ma-develop niya. Hindi lang po yung mga panalangin lang niya na tungkol sa mga pangailangan. And after that season of uh, building of our character, suddenly we find out more boldness in dealing, you know, more strength. Meron po na tayong lakas at meron na tayong capacity to deal with more challenging uh, problems that we are facing on our daily life. But the Lord katulad mo din sinabi niya. We wanted, the Lord wanted us to put our trust in Him at hindi po sapat ang ating kaalaman o ang ating kakayanan to be able to survive all the challenges of our life. More trust in God, more faith in God, the more that we could solve and face the challenges of our lives. Kaya po, once again, Uh, in this morning, this is the goal of this morning inspiration. Please share our videos to your friends and relatives. And also subscribe in our YouTube channel where you could still find uh, ito pong mga videos na to. And we also have one uh, subject na dinidiscuss na tingin two po uh, videos siguro po mga twice a month yung pong family matters yun naman po yung family matters deals with issues on family so i-share po natin to para makabuild tayo ng, ng community of uh, people depending and inspired by the words of the Lord by uh, having a good relationship upon Him thank you po and God bless us all once again God bless.